to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat You keep the medals cause the red one's coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily double uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now let's get you in this video. So today what we're gonna do, my nephews and nieces, is we're gonna try to make James Harden exact build. Now I will say off rip, we're not able to make him as an offensive threat. I mean, offensive threat is just not gonna happen on 2K22 current gen you're just not able to make offensive threats at, at any type of height other than like 6'2 but um at the same time we're all going to be able to make him pretty decent we will to get his name at the top and then we'll also we'll make another version of a build that will show you how i think that will be the best version to play with that that actually plays like james harden in the park okay so let's just go over a few things real quick the driving layup is a 96 he does have an 84 driving dunk he's right at that tier to get just pro contact dunks which is something to keep in mind um obviously the close shot the mid-range and the three-point shots are going to be off the charts so you can see already the 85 and above on the mid-range three-point shot the three-point shots in 84 and then of course the 96 driving layup and that's what really keeps his build from being able to have that name you're just not able to get that type of attributes on 2k22 current gen but then again when you look at here at the pass accuracy the 78 is also what keeps him from becoming a playmaking shot creator and he's just an um offensive threat um and then a the ball handles a ridiculous 97 and then um of course his people balls in 86 and now we're gonna look at the defense as you can see the defense is just non-existent <laughs> it's just, just not anything here he has a 70 premium defense we know that james is not known for his defense even though he's been playing better but he does have a 77 defensive rebound so that is something to keep in mind and then of course the lateral quickness is not great but james is not known as an explosive type player he's just so crafty and shifty his speed's only an 87 his strength is a 71 which is pretty legit and then when we go to the badges you know he's gonna have a ton of badges here he has 46 total he has acrobat and fearless finisher on hall of fame you look at the shooting he has volume shooter of course he's gonna have that on hall of fame right he has chef i mean he has everything man like his badges are ridiculous and then of course here you know he has space creator on hall of fame he has ankle breaker bailout bullet passer i mean i'm telling you right now james harden is one of the most lethal scorers of all time he's definitely up there with kevin durant michael jordan kobe bryant but then again the same token he's probably one of the most efficient scorers of all time he does have interceptor on um silver so i mean that's pretty decent right but he only has one badge on defense so that's something to keep in mind we have to focus on defense as much we can just focus on the offense all right but anyway what we're gonna do now is head over to the my player builder and we're gonna try to make the one and only james harden all right my nephews and nieces okay so now we're making two builds like i stated we're making two builds this build right here is going to be the one that has james harden at the top right so obviously you have to do a lot of things to get these guys names at the top of the um you shades of so this right here is going to be james harden at the top and then the next one build that i'm going to make is going to be the build that's going to show what i believe will be the one that plays more like james harden in the park okay so we're going to go shooting guard of course that's james harden he is left-handed um the pie chart that we're going to go with is the mostly shooting with a little bit of finishing that's about the best bet we're going to be able to get and then of course we got to go up the balance remember his speed is only an 87 he did have 71 strength so we do have to take that into consideration as far as getting his name at the top physicals do matter in that aspect so we have to go here and then what we're going to do here is this we're going to max out the close shot because he had a 96 close shot he had a 96 a 97 driving lay no 9, a 97 close shot with a 96 driving layup so we got to max that out he had an 84 driving dunk and that's where we're going to skip everything else here now we're going to max out everything here obviously because james harden had ridiculous numbers all across the board for these we do have a max out the pass accuracy and the ball handle and then we're going to go 46 on the post control now to be able to get this now we have to go 70 on the perimeter defense we're going to max out the lateral quickness we're going to go 46 on the steal all right we're going to also max out the block 
we're gonna max out that defensive rebound because remember we had a 71 77 defensive rebound and then we're gonna go ahead and offensive rebound to go 37 so we're trying to hit as many tiers as we can to get his name so this is what i'm gonna go with and again it's not bad at all 11 finishing 27 shooting 14 playmaking obviously i would love to have more shooting but again these are just gold badges anyway and then, like i said when you're trying to make the shades up at the top you have to be pretty creative so that's why we're going this route here and then with the body type we know that we're just going to go um define we go six five he was 205 pounds we're keeping right there at 205 and then of course the wingspan to be able to get that higher shooting that we wanted we're going to lower that wingspan all the way down to 77 you do get the ball handle at an 80 which is pretty good but again like i said this is about the best way that we're going to be able to get it and then um, with the takeovers, to me personally, you can either go slashing or shot creator. As you see right there, he has a 72. So if you look at the um, the attributes, you know you get a plus eight to the physical. So you get the 87 speed, which he currently has, an 84 acceleration. You get an 87 vert. Um, you get a 93 mid-range shot. You get a 91 three ball. Like I said, these are all in his tiers. You get a 76 driving dunk, 88 um, driving layup, and a 94 close shot. Um, you actually get a higher pass accuracy than the one in the game. So you get an 83 pass accuracy with an 84 ball handle, right? And then again, on the defensive side, you have that 72 ladder quickness with a 75, I mean, 75 ladder quickness with a 72 perimeter defense, the 65 defensive rebound. So I went the wingspan down just to get that ball handle at an 80 off rip. And then obviously I would probably go slash and take just so I can get the contact dunks. But um, this is what you have. And look what it comes out to. As you see, James Harden's at the top. And then you have a sharp shooting facilitator. Again, we're not able to get offensive threat from a 6-5 build. So that's just why we're just going to try to go with the best version of him. So now let's head over to the second build. And this build right here, I feel like is actually plays like James Harden in the park. Okay. All right, my nephews and nieces. So now we're going to try to get with build two, a build that plays like James Harden in the park. So we're not trying to get the shades of name. We're just trying to get a build that plays like him in the park. So we're gonna go shooting guard, of course, and we'll go left-handed. Let's get this number 13 just for the thing. We don't know, listen, if y'all know y'all asked in the comment section, how come I don't have face scans? Face scans for right now on YouTube for these players are, are not really good at all. So um, I'm not even worrying about it anymore. They don't look nothing like them. What we're gonna do here is go Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame um, finishing, okay? So now we're gonna go with the Hall of Fame tiers on both. I think that's gonna be pretty dope. We're gonna go pure speed, all right? Because we know in the park, you wanna be as fast as you can. And also with this type build, you just need to have that speed. Now, again, James Harden is an offense and heavy type player. So we're going to go offense and heavy with this and go 83 here. So that's going to give us 20 finishing. Then we're going to max out everything on the shooting side of things. All right. That's going to give us 22 shooting. Then we're going to max out everything here because we got to have as many playmaking bats as possible for 16. Then we're going to go 70 on the perimeter defense and then that remaining left over for the lateral quickness. All right. So um, let me make sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 87, 87. Okay, hold on. Let me take this here. Boom. Because you can actually. There we go. Boom. So now we got 74. So now listen, this right here is an offensive heavy juggernaut. 20 finishing, 22 shooting, 16 playmaking. This falls right in line to what James Harden is. I mean, obviously James Harden doesn't have much defense. He does have a high defensive rebound, but I said screw that. I didn't want to do it. Now you could do that if you wanted to. You could take away this, get down to 15, and then you can um, go here if you want to do that, get defensive rebound. But again, you go from 20 to 15 just to still have no defensive badges. Um, and I just to me, it doesn't make any sense. Again, we're trying to make James Harden here. So that's the reason why I went with this lineup like this. Um, and then, of course, with the body type, let's go define. You still want to stay 6'5". This, well, no, I'm sorry, not define. Let's go build because we're going to lower the weight. And we're going to lower that weight all the way down to 179, all right? And then we're going to get our wingspan. And this time, we're going to max it all the way out. Now, the reason why we're going to max it out is because we want to get contact dunks. And then also maxing it out. And even though it kills our shooting, we have Hall of Fame shooting and we're still going to have way in the 80s on our mid range of three point shot. We know how easy it is to shoot. So that's the reason why this will still play like James Harden, because you're going to be able to shoot at a high clip. Right. You look at the plus eight physicals. You have a 94 speed. You have a 93 acceleration and you also have a 79 vert. But look at the numbers on finishing. This is way much closer to James. Now, I believe. Right. A 96 close shot, a 92 driving layup right an 85 driving dunk to get the pro contact animations an 83 standing dunk a 90 post hook right which of course the standing post hook ain't there that is more so for the badges um but still you still have it you have an 83 mid-range with an 81 three ball remember these are hall of fame and again an 89 post fade which is crazy 
you get an 82 pass accuracy, an 81 ball handle, so you will get the pro dribble animations and the contact dunk, I mean the pro dribble animations and be able to momentum dribble. You have a 75 um, in perimeter defense, which is actually better than James Harden's. And then you have a 79 lateral quickness, which again is right on par with James Harden um, on the rosters, okay? And then as usual, what you want to do here is you can go with slashing takeover. I feel like that'd be the best one. Doesn't make sense to go sharp. You could go shot creator if you wanted to, but not a lot of people are really using that. And James doesn't, I mean, I guess you could use shot creator if you really want it because he, he's, he's really good with space creator and like step backs, but I'm still going slashing tape. All right, and then the name that comes out for this one is going to be the facilitating finisher. Right now, those are the two versions of the build. Um, let me know in the comment section which one do you like or do you appreciate the fact that I'm doing this these type. If you don't want me to do like you know the name at the top and just go with a build that play wide, let me know. But other than that, my nephews and nieces, due to time constraints, I'm not going over badges. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say I'm back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm if out. he caught for a low, we gon' get to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breeze like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go ahead.